Failure to delivers might be the most important piece or the key to NEO stock price action. But because we never get access to this data in real time, I figured we could at least look back at the history of NEO stock and I can point out a couple of things that stand out to me anyway. The white lines represent the fails to deliver. That's when there could have been stock price manipulation. Now, the, the white lines, if you look at them corresponding to the yellow lines, yellow lines represent price action for NEO. NEO only started trading in the US markets in about 2018. It was later in the year in 2018. So what we've got is this price action represented by the yellow lines. And you see this, this heavy, heavy deluge of the white lines that fails to deliver where there could have been stock price manipulation going on, shorts basically targeting and, and predatorily targeting this stock. And what you've got is the stock price going down and down and down. Now, it is important. There is a short thesis that has to come into play for shorts to really maximize their profits off of this. And what we had with NEO was before shorts probably got squeezed and caught, NEO was actually at a time or point where they were desperate for funding. And this is what happened. NEO was able to secure funding from the Hefei government. And at that point, they sort of were able to kind of get stabilized and then continue to grow and move and pivot. And so I think what we maybe saw represented here was shorts thinking that they had this company and they were going to be able to put them out of business. But then that didn't happen. And then the shorts got caught and they got squeezed. So we see this price action for NEO stock which absolutely tore. Now, here's maybe the most important thing for me. Concept is the key. I'm a big picture overview kind of guy. And if you look at this soaring stock price action for NEO before the company was even profitable, this is better price action relative to Tesla at an early stage. So just file that away for a second. But now let's come back to look at what a drop off on the fails to deliver, almost like normal price action should be. And then it drops off, but then it, really picks up again. And that is all we've had over the last few years for NEO stock. Now, let's look at Tesla. Because if you look at Tesla, <laughs> this is even more interesting. It's more, uh, it's a longer time frame, bigger picture, even overview. And you got to see when Tesla became profitable. And what do you know? That price action really took off for Tesla. Of course, they've also had a couple of splits, meaning the prices have gone even higher relative to kind of what we're seeing on this chart. But the point is, look, early on, stock price action, the yellow lines so low, and these white lines, these failure to deliver's so high consistently. Isn't it interesting? And that's what my point was before. Look at NEO at an earlier stage, because NEO has not been trading that long compared to Tesla, and NEO's not yet profitable. And yet we've already seen the stock price pop up and shorts probably get torched. That's one of the reasons that I just think at least for me personally, I will not ignore this data, this failure to deliver data. The problem is, one of the problems is we don't get real-time access to the data. It's always a couple weeks delayed. So with that in mind, I just kind of keep tracking NEO as a company because fundamentally the short thesis, the idea that shorts can continue to target and predatorily target a stock like NEO, that sort of goes away once the company starts posting profitable quarters and then showing that this is, a company that can make a lot of money. And, and that's essentially what we've seen with other IDEs, innovative driven enterprises, companies like Tesla, like Amazon, like Netflix, like Nvidia, those companies all at different points traded at penny stock levels and look where they are now. It is important. I think there's a, a key point and element to this and that's the IDE factor, the innovative driven enterprise. It has to be a company that has the, the potential to take a very large market share and of course, the risk, if you want to call it that, is that company needs to be able to get to profitability. And that's why I think they get targeted heavily by shorts. I think this is just part of the shorts mechanism and their sort of business model, their plan in trying to make those shorter term gains by pushing the stock price down for different companies and trying to profit in the short term by the fact that so many people want to be traders, whether they're on Wall Street or just retail investors. So just some of my thoughts. I wanted to put that together and get this video up and out because it's especially at this time where Neo as a company is stronger than it's ever been. And they do have some great news ahead. So fundamentally, I'm very curious if 2024 or perhaps 2025, we're not going to see a repeat of stock price action and shorts getting torched again. You know, it, it's an interesting thing as the frustration for retail investors maybe continues with this sort of beat down of the stock price. 
At the same time, the longer the shorts remain engaged in this failure, failure to deliver potentially naked shorting and, and maybe even predatorily shorting this company in the stock, they're actually putting themselves at greater risk for upside potential and for getting torched, perhaps once again. But I want to hear from you. So drop it in the comments section. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.